It's a diverse group of more than 100 people, Democrats and Republicans, GovGuam employees and representatives from the private sector. I know for many of them, they have jobs that are paying jobs, and they're coming here in with an attitude of working towards a better future for the people of Guam. And again, this is so critical uh, that in this phase that we get direct participation in the transition from all aspects of the community. We brought together not just Democrats, not just Republicans, but independents. We brought together business people and government. We brought together, together law enforcement, health care, education. We brought together people who have been in service to the community in a business and a government role, but every, everyone here is in fact united for one goal. That's providing a new direction and a new government. The transition team members have been divided into 11 different subcommittees, subcommittees that represent key areas of importance to the new administration. Community service and government operations, cultural and tourism, community and social affairs, which will be headed by Dedede Omer and Melissa Savaris. The major thing that this administration is going to be faced with is, of course, the military buildup in several years. But, you know, what's good for the military is definitely going to be good for the community outside the fence. And so we want to make sure that all this, these concerns are going to be taken care of. We've got to take care of our people in the community, in our community, before we take care of our guests. Among the other subcommittees include education, expansion in the military buildup, finance, political status and external affairs, and safety to be chaired by former Guam Police Chief Colonel Adolf Scambaluri. I will identify people that uh, will meet what his requirement, his qualifications, and the suitability to become the director of the chief. Rounding out the 11 subcommittees are the Guam Buildup and Economic Development Subcommittee, Healthcare and Mental Health, and Infrastructure and Natural Resources, which will be chaired by Simon Sanchez. Obviously, you're talking about the roads, the commercial port, the airport, and of course, power, water, wastewater, uh, Department of Public Works, which brings in the landfill and of course, uh, and, of the, and their role in the road. So the initial thing is an assessment of where are we in these various entities. You know, some are doing very well, like the Guam Airport Authority. Commercial port has got $100 million to begin to prepare for the buildup. The utilities are moving in the right direction. We know roads are going to be a challenge, but the buildup is going to challenge all of these uh, entities even more. Governor-elect Calvo's first day in office is Monday, January 3rd, just over six weeks away. The Calvo Tenorio team hopes to have most of their department heads and senior staff in place before that. Kevin Kerrigan, PNC News.